long to have an amazing wardrobe and to be a stylish woman. The key is to study other stylish women, learn from the example, and add our own unique twist. In this episode, I'm going to break down Lori Harvey's approach to style, tips on how to recreate her outfits, and her wardrobe essentials. So stay tuned. So let's talk about Lori Harvey. So despite Lori Harvey being very popular for her various ex-boyfriends and boyfriends, whoever she's with at the moment, Lori is a model of, um, she's a model for IGM and WME model agency. She's the owner of her own skincare brand, Skin by LV, and she has a swimsuit line at Revolve. I believe it's called Yavara. I've looked for places to, um, to listen to how it's, the name is pronounced, but I couldn't find any place. So if you know, the comment down below. And of course, she's a fashion maker. So let's get into Lori Harvey's approach to style. So when I think Lori Harvey style, I definitely think sexy, effortless, and cool. And it makes me think of TLC's album, Crazy Sexy Cool. To me, if Crazy Sexy Cool was a person, you would see Lori Harvey. So Lori Harvey, she's one of those women who's very confident in her body. She loves to show her body off. And so that's the kind of sexy part of her. It seems like no matter what Lori is wearing, whether she's wearing sweats or whatever it is, even if it's something very casual, she still comes off very sexy and very pretty. So here's the thing. Lori is a cool girl. For example, let's think about this outfit right here. Now, I don't know if anybody else was pressed about this, but I remember this particular item being something really hot when I was in high school and everybody wanted it but of course we were all broke so we didn't have the money to buy it but this particular look took me back so Lori Harvey she's wearing this Marc Jacobs fall winter 2000, 2006 make Louis Vuitton bum bag Ugh. I love this bum bag. So many different celebrities had it at the time. I believe Rihanna had it when it first came out. And the Rose. And there were other people that had this bum bag. But honestly, I was only a junior in high school. So of course I didn't have the money for the Louis Vuitton bum bag. But I love this. So seeing her bring out this archive piece definitely is very cool. And when you look at the way this whole outfit is styled, it's very cool, laid back. She has on an NY fitted, but she's still glamorous, so she has on stilettos. And then we have the cutoff jeans, which adds also another element of being casual. So this is definitely a cool girl look. Definitely not a look that everyone would pull off, but everyone would wear. Many people would find this bag obnoxious, but I like the way this bag looks, and I like the way she styled it. So this is just one example of her being a cool girl. But because Lori Harvey is a model, she is in a lot of campaigns. And so she's able to push the boundaries with a lot of different things. I don't know if you've seen her in New York Fashion Weeks, her Milan Fashion Weeks, but she has some really good Fashion Week looks and outfits. She's definitely confident in her body. And that's definitely a one key to being having a similar style to Lori Harvey. You have to be confident in your body. So in a recent Harper's Bazaar article, Lori listed her three style icons and one of them may surprise you. So she mentioned Rihanna because she said she likes her over the top couture looks and Rosie Huntington Whiteley. If you like Rosie Huntington Whiteley, I will link in the cards in the description box. I did a whole video similar to this about how you can have Rosie Huntington Whiteley style. So Rosie Huntington Whiteley is also one of Lori's uh, style inspirations. She said for her elevated minimalism and then her mother Majori Harvey for her elegance. So we can see where all the elements of her style come from that I just mentioned. The sexy I would say is her mother, the effortless is Rosie, and the cool girl is definitely Rosie, I mean the cool girl is Rihanna. So we can see all of her influences. 
So she says that what she learned from all of these women and what she takes from them really is to be confident in your skin and confident in what you wear. Find what you like and to rock it. And that's something that any of us can do regardless of what your personal style is. We all can be confident in our bodies, be confident in what we wear and what we like and rock it. So what if people don't like it? So what it's not on trend? If you feel confident and looks good on you, then rock it. So Lori is known for her abs. So, and that's part of where she gets her um, confidence is being really confident in her body. So she wore this jet black backless Michael Kors dress to the Met Gala and she looks stunning. Everyone was like, ah, you could see her abs at some point. Like, do you see that picture? I would love to have abs like that. But she put in the work. She actually, after this, it was such a buzz about her body. What did she do? And she had talks about how she's done several things. If you follow her on TikTok, she talks about the process that she went to. How she went to the gym and did cardio twice a day. How she had a calorie deficit. But she also attributes her body to being consistent with Pilates. So reformer Pilates is no joke. I actually, my husband and I recently did a Pilates class. And when I say, it was just an introduction class. So we only did 30 minutes. But I still felt my core burning and other parts of my body that I didn't even know existed. <laughs> so I can definitely see why. It's not for the thing of heart. But these are just... Some of the things that she mentioned that helped her get her body in shape. So I suggest you find what you like. Find the exercise that you like. It doesn't have to be Pilates. Find the exercise that you like. Try to have a healthy lifestyle. And then you'll feel confident in your body. And so that will push you to wear certain things. Or wear what you like. And not be inhibited by like how self-conscious you feel about certain things. So if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure that you subscribe. Of course, I do videos like this where we analyze other women's style, but we also talk about what's going on in my wardrobe, how I'm cultivating my wardrobe so that you can cultivate your wardrobe, and just different elements of how you can create and develop your own personal style. Because at the end of the day, that's what ultimately is important, that you look good and feel confident in what you're wearing. So now we're going to talk about ways to recreate her outfits. So I have some bullet points. So number one, don't be afraid to embrace colors. So unlike Jasmine Tukes or Rosie Huntington Whiteley, who do who mainly wear neutrals, Lori Harvey she wears neutrals, but she also wears a lot of color. For example, this look on the left, Lori's wearing an oversized lime silk shirt with tangerine platform heels and the Himalayan croc mini lady Dior bag. So she's definitely not afraid to color block and wear bright colors. And I like this look on her. On the right side, we see Lori showed with another colorful look. She's on vacation. So this is a Dior graphic tee and it's paired with a crochet mini skirt, some Bottega Veneta accessories. So we have the green, um terry bottega veneta slides and the green terry bottega bottega veneta clutch so she is definitely colorful in both looks so don't be afraid to embrace color find out what colors you like and try them out experiment if at first you feel like uh, i don't know you're a little nervous try them on in the dressing room when you go to different stores try on the colors you think you will like Go in the dressing room, see how it looks on you, and then take pictures. Determine from there, like mull over it, and try it, experiment it. Colors are fun. I actually like wearing colors. Invest in a variety of accessories. So like many stylish women, as we've been, if you aren't new to this series that I have on my channel, most of these women, regardless of their personal style, have accessories because Clothing is king, accessories are queen. So without accessories, clothes are just clothes. The accessories are what help make clothing a whole entire outfit. So that's an important thing 
to have a variety of accessories. I go into more detail about this in my previous video, so I will link that for you in the cards. So look at this, and then Lori Harvey has everything from Hermes Mini Kelly's. Look at this stunning color. I love this color. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that I learned this is an Hermes Kelly cut. I like the way this looks. Ah. So more casual accessories like this Loewe bucket bag. Lori is also a jewelry girl. She always has on jewelry. It doesn't matter if she's on vacation or if she's wearing sweats. She always has jewelry and especially earrings. I noticed that in just about every outfit that I've seen, she has on earrings. Whether it be studs or hoops, she has some sort of earrings on. And I don't know if that's because she grew up like me in which a lot of women in my family say earrings from your face. And if you don't have earrings on, it's like, oh, how could you not be wearing earrings? <laughs> so I don't know if that's what it is or she's truly just a glamour girl and so she loves the jewelry. So this leads me to our next thing, a co-ward set. She loves a good co-ward set. And why wouldn't she? A good co-ward set leaves you feeling you could still be effortless, but pulled together. And that's something that Lori Harvey pulls off excellently. So she's no stranger to sweats. And she's posted several looks of her in sweats. And this look, she has on a sweatsuit paired with high top Nikes and a Prada nylon bag. And in this next look, she's at Starbucks. And this is a pretty little thing sweatsuit. If I'm not mistaken, I believe she did a collaboration with them some time ago. And she's also an ambassador. She swears by pretty little things, body suits and sweatsuits. So <laughs> we'll talk about that later. But that's a pretty accessible thing if you want to get sweats. She wears pretty little thing sweats. Now in the next two outfits, she's wearing a different kind of cord set. So this set on the right is an Alexander Wang crystallized short set. This is so cute to me. This is very um, pulled together, effortless, uh, but I'm glamorous. It's crystallized, so that adds to the glamour. Again, she has on jewelry. And I don't know if she has on makeup or if her face just naturally looks like that. But Lori Harvey always has some sort of beat or her face always looks good. Maybe that's the skincare. Either way, she always looks good. So she has on earrings, like I mentioned, and some arm candy going on. So this look is very casual glam. And on this next look on the right, we have a Magda Brutram skirt set. And this is bejeweled and glittered. And this is a lunch, this is what she wore for a lunch that she hosted for swim on. And she paired it with some strappy stilettos. So here we have two different kinds of cord sets. Well, three actually, if you include the sweatsuit. So get yourself some cord sets. Now she wears a sexy dress. So Lori loves to show off her curves and wear sensual clothing. So you need a figure hugging dress in your wardrobe. A dress that when you wear it, you are not afraid to turn heads because this is what I call a bombshell dress. The dresses that you put on, everything fits just right and makes your waist look little. It just skims over your butt, skims over your boobs, creates a nice silhouette. That is the kind of dress that you need in your wardrobe if you want to dress like Lori Harvey. Example, this dress from Gucci, this Gucci Tom Ford red dress, she looked stunning with this python leather Gucci stilettos. Look at the jewelry, just everything. She just looks so sensual and sexy, bombshell. So you need something like that. Very sexy and sultry in your outfit. So now let's So now let's consider some of Lori's wardrobe essentials and something similar that you could purchase. So Lori Harvey is someone who is really into a black dress, whether it be her out on a town with her friends or wearing a black dress for her for her birthday. Black dresses are something that is up Lori Harvey's style. So we're gonna check out a couple of black dresses that you could purchase. 
So this particular dress, this is a cocktail dress. It's a sheath dress from Nordstrom. And you can see how it's nice and fitted. It creates a certain silhouette, body contrast. So this is one option. Then we have this another dress from Reformation. It says a body contrast. And while this is not completely black, it has black and white elements. It's still very classic and still has a similar shape as to what Lori would wear. So this, I like this a lot. Now we're gonna look at a dress that I think is very stunning and I would probably only wear this on a vacation date night with my husband. But this is a dress from BBX brand and this is called the Valen Maxi Dress. Look at how sexy this is. So you gotta ask me to be on point like Lori if you're gonna show up in something like this. But this is amazing, very sexy, and similar to that Michael Kors jet black dress that we all saw when we first saw just how bad Lori's abs were. So she also has a lot of strappy black sandals. So you probably already have some strappy black stiletto heels but if you don't here's an option from Revolve this is Tony Bianco and they are $150 this is the Caden Hill and so look this is a very good option if you don't have a stiletto heel already then the another option that we have is from Paris Texas and these are the um, satin sandals and they look so cute they're very strappy sexy they have a little bejeweled buckle very very sexy so another thing is that when Lori Harvey is not wearing a black sexy dress she is wearing a colorful sexy dress so look at this dress from Jalex label this is the red satin bell maxi dress and this dress is stunning look at the details gonna show you different angles look at the back this dress looks very nice so this is just one option another option because jlux label is one of those brands that has a lot of sexy clothing outerwear for the glam girl here's another option this is the black sahara dress just look at how this looks on her body again amazing if you want a similar look this comes in several different colors i'm gonna look at it in the blue because that's my favorite color yes this looks so nice in this blue she also is no stranger to a cord set so i found some cord sets from netta porte and this is a linen neutral cream colored this is similar in a similar vein to the Alexander Wayne crystallized set. Now it's not crystallized, but you can still make this very feminine and girly. It is still very cute. It's linen. It's a good option. If you just change some of the accessories, you can make it more glam. Also, we have this option. This is checkered linen. So if you want something as a little bit more of a pattern rather than a solid color, so it's no stranger that Lori Harvey likes sweatsuits from Pretty Little Things. So you can go to Pretty Little Things and get your sweatsuit, but you can also get some other cord sets. So this particular cord set, this is a white chiffon, please say short sleeve set. And it looks good, it looks good on her. So there's one option. They even have this in orange, but in shorts. This looks good. And I would suggest this if maybe you're the person who wants to try color, but you, so you went to the dressing room, you tried on a color that you like, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna buy something in that color. But maybe you don't wanna buy something of a higher price point because you're still checking it out. Then something like Target, or pretty little things or just a store that is not expensive to try out a particular color might help and this sweatsuit if you want short sweats then here's a nice sweatsuit 
And then this is a 100% cotton wide leg set. And I just think this is something that Lori would wear. I could definitely see her pelling around on the beach with her next boyfriend or one of her friends or whoever just pounding around jeweled up jewelry looking very nice so if you enjoyed this video let me know comment down below let me know whose style you like who would you like me to do next and if you haven't watched my video on when i break down rosie huntington whiteley style check it out here see you over there